hi guys welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel i am diana dan and jerry you can call me dan brooks that's still fine thank you so much for being here it's yet another video i'm feeling excited i am so happy i've been doing my gratitude list i wanted to show you i have been doing my gratitude list and i'm telling you for a fact that gratitude is amazing like just waking up with a grateful heart regardless you don't know how your day is gonna be even when you slept you didn't know whether you're gonna wake up today but you're waking up fresh clean happy excited to face the day regardless of whatever challenge you're going to face so that has been my story for the past couple of days and i love it i love it so i'm full of energy and i love it i love it i love it guys karibu sana. thank you so much for clicking on this video thank you for your love and support i love it like you guys are always here just liking commenting and sharing my videos most importantly thank you so much for being here so today i wanted us to do like a fun video i know november is not yet but i felt like it had been it has been like intense learning intense uh conversations but now let's ease so today i want to do like a makeup video and sorry let me grab my notebook so today i want to do a makeup video and oh this is not the notebook uh shoot pause yeah so i've, I've gotten my notebook this notebook, I love it so much. I was gifted, okay, in a gym and called mutual, faulu and whatever, but I was gifted this by one of my friends and I love this notebook. I love the print. It's gorgeous and the color is my favorite color by the way. Turquoise. This is aqua. I don't know, whatever. Yeah, so today I wanted us to do like a very easy chilled video of um, not things I wish I'd known. <laughs> Not things I wish I'd known. I want us to do a makeup video. I'm gonna get ready. It's like a get ready with me video, but also a chit chat. I want to address my toxic traits. <laughs> and this we will review next year, God willing, and see how far we've come with my toxic traits. As as I, I start this video, I also pray that you get on, get on, get on, and start thinking, what are your toxic traits? And before I start, I have a ton of makeup here. I'll also, I don't know how long this video is going to be. I'll also share with you the things that I do, like the my favorite makeup stuff, uh, the, 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 the face stuff I use for my face. Yeah? So if I look this way, it's because my makeup is here. And if I look this way, I'll be using my mirror. It's just here and I get a caribou. This is the mirror. Yeah, so... I'm going to bring it a little bit closer so that I can be able to shoot while we talk. So no. Yeah, and multitasking is not my cup of tea. Hey, I'm feeling a little hot. Multitasking is not my cup of tea, so forgive me, please. If I start digressing or being quiet, Kidogo, just bear with me, yeah? For all my girls out there, hmm? please. I want you to look really pretty, okay? I want you to understand that you need to look pen. I, I just got off my period and I think that's why I am. I have kidogo pimples. Actually, it's just this one. We can work with that one. We can work with that one. So as usual, I, I applied uh, some face cream. There's new products that I started using. Uh, they are Korean and I know and I can feel my face is appreciating them somehow. So there is this is the face serum. I don't know if you can see it. It's the face serum. Uh, this is the toner. It's Korean, that's why I bought them. Otherwise, I've never used them before. I'll give a report once I'm done. And then the other thing is, there's, there's a cream. Yeah, here. There's a cream. So like, oops. So like 30 days, 30 days of miracles. Let's see the miracles that they're gonna perform. So Zikiwa Tatu EV is how I bought them. I bought them in Tao. Uh, there's a there's a lady who plugs me with st with face stuff. I don't have her number. It's crazy because I always find her in a shop. But shop yake eko Dubois, eko Dubois Road. You know that's the plug for the finest things in this life. Affordable finest things is what I mean. It's called Dubois. It's not Dubois. <laughs> 
it's Dubois. Anyway, yeah, so um I want to do my makeup as usual. Maybelline is my plug. Maybelline always Maybelline. I'm a Maybelline girl. I'm a Maybelline girl. Maybelline, please do something about this. Do something about this. I buy like a ton of Maybelline products, bro. I think the lipstick to see Jiparangi Maybelline. But everything else from the powder, uh, I'm not sure. But one thing I know about makeup is as long as you have your foundation right and the stuff that you're applying on your face right, ato kipaka knockoff eyeshadow, it doesn't matter. So these are some of the things that you're going to use today. This is the highlighter and the light. I also need to be very quick because I'm supposed to go to town and I'm getting a new laptop. I'm so excited. Oh my God, there's a friend of mine who who usually sells lappies and I can't wait to see this lappie. It's touch. It's, I am ready for it. I am ready for it. And you know me, I am going for HP. Well, if I could afford iOS, I would have. But thank God, I'm taking this as a Christmas gift from my mom. She's actually the one buying it for me. Okay, cool. Um, uh, so we're gonna start with the eyes. Of course, you have to trim your eyebrows, shape them nicely. To the excess nearly the musical girl that can be seen. I'm sorry, I just got my family so so I'm also trying to find things while I talk to you. Did I tell you I'm a Maybelline girl? This is Maybelline Fit Me color. This is a concealer. I'm, I'm actually introducing this product so that when I start, Nikupaka too, I don't have to say anything about them. Color 40, yes. Um, uh, what, what did I want to say? My foundation is color 350. So also, I, I think the best thing when you're buying your foundation, please make sure you get the right color for your face. For a very long time, I struggled finding my own color. And I think Pia Face Yango was going through some things. At least these days, I can tell. You see, my face looks like my neck. But Kitambo, my neck used to be dark. My forehead used to be dark. But over time, I may put a product in a fit face Yango. And I'm able to like apply like a clear shade of uh, foundation that works best for me. And from today, henceforth, from, I mean, onwards, I have been using Color 350 Caramel. And it's been beautiful it sits pretty well in my face uh okay so we're going to start with the eyes i'm still trying to find the eye pencil i put all my stuff together in one place we need to restock i also need to restock on my makeup because babu i think foundation zangu zina zina run out at i think crazy chupaza zaile foundation in yemiu paka nitanini i'll have to to like cut them into half by there are you those people who cut your stuff into half and then you make sure you use all the products so that you can buy another one maybe now we'll see how else will you know i'm a cute without tell me you are a cute without telling me you are a cute <laughs> those are the things that you do okay as kikuyus well maybe i'm an economical kikuyu i don't care maybe kuna walitu wana malizanga na wana tupachupa as for me and my makeup lazima to finish your look you will see as you progress so i have my eye pencil nimesha sharpen kai it's very small and i have uh this brush is what i use to conceal my eyebrows with it's not the best brush it's supposed to be carved the other one i have carved in ili chakarika there's a time in the corner to me also by the way when you're doing when you're doing your makeup the best thing to to do is to get the right brushes so to get the right brushes here, it's also very important because they help you and make your work easy. Yeah. So this is how it's very flat, but it does the job. I love it. Okay. So we're going to start with our eyes. So um, the video is just a chit chat and talking about my toxic traits. I don't know what your toxic traits are. And I feel like Nimeongea the whole time. Let's now start the video. My toxic traits. This is not something I'm proud of. This is stuff that I'm, I would say, technically learning, learning from, and and learning as well. Okay, so one of my to toxic traits, and I feel like I've become better on this one, is that more often than not, I listen to reply. You know, I listen to reply. So, I hope 
I hope my framing won't be messed up. But hey, yeah, so I listened to reply. So you would be talking to me and in my head, I'm just thinking how stupid can this person be or how smart can they be? And instead of listening so that I understand what you're saying, sometimes I listen. Don't go and bear. You should have done this. You should have done that. I'm, I'm one of the wisest people I know. Well, maybe not very wise, but I can categorize myself as one of the wisest people. And sometimes that inhibits inhibits my my ability to learn because i feel like i know it all yet i don't so season traits kako mini maker in one place but yeah so one of my toxic traits is that i listen to reply and that's not a good thing and i have to tell you that these days i learn these days I'm, i i i am learning and becoming a better a better version of myself in terms of listening to understand and not listening to reply because that also stops you from learning and it's not a good thing you understand so i feel like i'm very smart so i just have to give you advice without actually feeling or trying to empathize with whatever you're feeling you know and that's not a good thing but uh recently i've been learning to listen and it's such a beautiful thing because even when you listen to people you learn so you see that's how i did my eyebrows so you just you just use your eyebrow shape don't go outside your eyebrow shape yeah so i was saying that these days i've become a better listener and i now listen to understand so that I can give you a concrete uh, answer or a reasonable idea or maybe tell you I don't understand but you're in my prayers or something of that sort, okay? Yeah, so it's it's not a good thing to listen to reply. You look like a dumb person because this person will not even trust you the next time they're trying to talk to you about something. So that's one of my toxic traits and it's not it's not a really good thing. It's... It's so bad. Una imagine, una feel kitu. Okay, wait. This is another thing I'm not able to do. So we're going to get it back concealer. So give me a sec. I'm done. So um, I was I just blend them out. You remember how highlighted they looked? Yeah. So once you blend them out, nilikuwa mbe nini? I have to cut my foundation into to nitoi product yet we una dressing it for easy ni fits bit ngapi why there is no removing and drawing cans away without squandering everything okay yeah so um actually i'm supposed to do my my nini fast my my eyeshadow yeah so where were we we were talking about toxic traits yes so um you know and you know many other times by the way as humans we want to listen and do reply him to nasipo that's not a good thing the best thing for you to do is to listen and listen attentively sikusikiza uki cram points zenye mtu anasema ndio muataka kama ndo reply it's not healthy okay so yeah so after umepaka concealer you, that's when now you do your eyeshadow by the way this is one of the reasons as to why sometimes you might apply your eyeshadow and it's not high shiki like it's not popping the way it's supposed to pop or the colors are not coloring that's because you have not used concealer and that's why you need to to use concealer for your eyes so i want to get an eyebrow brush so on this black palette i'm wearing pink they say you shouldn't match your top with your makeup or your dress with your makeup so <laughs> so i don't know let's go nude um this this palette that i <laughs> i have been using forever you remember next month i get joanna k instead of joanna k this is what i got this palette it's so beautiful i like the glitters it's called anything never give up i shadow and i glitter glitter so there's a look i did that was really nice and my friends were like actually i'm also doing this video because you know in church to corner dinner there's an upcoming dinner and i want my girls to look bomb especially those ones who will not afford a makeup artist okay 
I know I want to use a makeup artist because I want to face bed and the likes. So this is for those girls who are not able to to afford a makeup artist. Ama they have products and they don't know how to do like a nice dinner look or whatever. So I'm going to do like a dinner look. Uh, the theme is black and gold. So my girls watch this and learn. Okay. Yeah. So you, I, I, I have used this, this eyeshadow color. I love the, I love it because it's very nude. It's chill. Haina kelele mingi. You understand? Yeah. So you understand? So I was talking about how many are the times that we listen to respond. And that's not a good thing. You need to pay attention to what someone is saying so that you can understand and not to respond. Yeah. So that's my toxic trait number one. The other toxic trait I have, I dreaming up. I hope see me. The other toxic trait I have is that when I wrong someone, I want to say sorry and move on. Okay. Um, I'm quick to move on. That's one thing. Like Mrs. Siwale watu tani kasirisha ni shinda po ni mekuambia oh mefanya mefanya. Well, I'll talk about it now. Ni ku explain ni ni kuambia many heart and things like that. But once you mean I'm sorry, I move on quickly, quickly. Like I'm like moving on. Unless, although it depends with the situation, it also depends on what you have done to me. But more often than not, if it's something simple, I always say sorry. I always want someone to say sorry, and then we move on. But I read somewhere that it's a toxic trait to to think that that an apology can fix everything. Unailewa, sometimes that I'm too easy come back from whatever you've done to them. And that's what I used to think. Ah, so I'm, I'm going to come here and say sorry. And to move on my life. No. Yeah, uh, sorry doesn't fix situations. Case in point. I mean, for example, you see when someone has wronged you and then make a seana, and then they've gone, they've tried to apologize or they have apologized. So sometimes you decide whether to have this person around or not, right? So if you decide to have them around, of course you're never gonna talk about that. But then if you decide to to not forgive them, you cancel them out and you don't talk to them anymore. So it's it's very important for someone to well I understand it's important to say sorry. And actually mean the sorry and that most of the times i mean the sorry it's only that i expect us to move on i expect you to keep loving me immediately and that kind of thing but that's not a good thing so you need to say sorry and give someone space enough for them to forgive them to forgive you for that for that which you have done to them and that way you are not going to have toxic traits. You're not going to be a toxic person. So we said we are going nude for chilled people. But nude with glitters and shimmers. You know what I mean? Yeah, so you also need to blend your eyeshadow really well. Like this. You blend it until it's... You know, most of the times, it's not like an ombre effect. It's not edge. I think you'll see as I progress. I've only used one color and I want to go in with another, like a slightly darker shade. This one, remember to me another this one. And now we, I want to use this one so that we can give that ombre finish. Yeah. So, you hear what I mean? So, why I'm saying it's a toxic trait is because I expect someone to move on immediately after I'm wrong. And that's not a good thing. You need to give someone time so that they can think of whether they're going to... Let me just tilt my camera this way so that the framing doesn't look a bit messed up. You understand? So, so yeah. And I'm just wondering, what are some of your toxic traits? And these are some of the... And how you know your toxic traits, by the way, someone will tell you or you will realize when you're doing some introspection you will realize oh my god i i act funny when something like this happens or how really do i think when you sit down with yourself and do introspection you honestly like 
you become a better version of yourself and you you are able to establish and and point out this this bad habits that you have you know they say old habits die hard it's true but akuna kitu to easy and learn this our brain is very powerful yeah okay um yeah so that's that's the other toxic trait i have okay they can't be more than five if they are more than five you are toxic dan <sighs> and then the other thing is um i can be passive aggressive this is something i was talking about to my friend to one of my besties brenda i was telling brenda that akina kwanga passive aggressive and passive aggression ni mbaya inaweza fanya u jam na u na u snap you understand and it's not a good thing to snap at people so what i used to do is actually i think ni man lani i used to be passive aggressive if i do say so myself i used to be passive aggressive but these days i'm not passive aggressive i am a lot more confrontational ni melan kwa confrontational so if i don't like something i'll be like okay um i don't like the way you spoke to me the other day and it's not a good thing it makes me feel uncomfortable when you're talking to me about x and x and x you understand so passive aggression yangu ilisha when i learned i used to snap and i learned this because i had a dog by the way so my dog coco who i gave away by the way coco alikuwa a very cute dog na she used to come and aruka ruka well i forget she's a dog she's not human ana brain ka yangu but coco used to so one time amekuja ameruka ruka kwa nyumba nimeshinda na yeye nyumba siko anajua when she wants to be what she does so maybe nimeenda tu kwa bathroom kidogo tu nimerudi na napata amesusuka carpet na sema ah coco is just a dog she doesn't nini she doesn't understand that this is a carpet na if i kususuiwa na nyamazia i keep quiet about it and then we move on and then coco does the same thing the next day we na cheesy na mchapa i kick her ass we and that and there's a day in him hit nikakoa like oh my god i think i'm not being a nice mom to this dog and mimi i believe corporal punishment especially caning or beating a kid is not is not a good thing and mimi ndio the same person wenye na, na chapa kuko na namuumiza hivyo so nika realize na kwanga passive aggressive like nime jam hiyo ku jam iko recorded in my subconscious but not ni kama niko sawa but siko sawa unaelewa yeah so so that's the other thing that i would say was my toxic trait yeah that's jimbo na niliandika but i felt the need to to talk about it cuz we toxic traits ka hiyo ni mbaya when you're passive aggressive like you look stupid even like someone would tell you um i don't think i'm going to make it and then you you go on and say ah anyway i was planning on spending time matter with so and so yet you're just upset that this person is not coming to your place or they are not going to to hang out with you you know and you can easily as in you're a grown up you can easily say i honestly wanted to hang and this by the way when you unlearn uh passive aggression you become a very good communicator you understand so you're like okay um msawa hautakuja it's okay i'm going to just i'm going to find something else to do instead of saying ah anyway you know that's the ego talking Anyway, I had plans of nini hanging out with so and so so ni sawa hata kama ukuji. You understand? Yet you had invited this person over. So passive aggression is another trait that is a bit uh, not right. It's it can be paralyzing even to friendships. Kama I don't know if you watched nini. Have you guys watched Dated and Related? There was this guy that came. He was one half of twins and he were he used to go with so if if he liked a girl he used to 
to say oh i like this girl she's beautiful she's everything i like the way she does this 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 and this but one day i just kumbuki what the guy did but i think the guy went in and told like the bro like He's not sure about the girl and everything. Yet wakiwa na yeye msichana alikuwa nam and I'm treat ni kama ni kama she's everything. So kind guys, multitasking is so hard. I'm sorry hata kama unaona na act funny funny. Na shindo kuongea niki nikipaka ya shadow. Hebu nipake ni sikai funny. Nisiaribu. So you say by the way for those who don't know how to do a smoky eye, that's what you do. Smoky eye. You see, you pack out one color here and then the dark shade ku inje and then you now blend it in. Okay? Yeah, so I was telling you what happened to this and related. So let's call this guy Josh. So Josh Josh Abambea brother ke the way he likes this girl and everything. But this girl I gonna feel ni kama huo jamaa is not his kind is not is not her kind kuna two video about him that are off and that kind of thing but then you should watch deleted and deleted i watched it i watched it it's on netflix i watched it na nika hata siku lala didn't even sleep i spent the whole night watching like it's that catchy and interesting and if you know me i'm going to bed because i like waking up early Yeah so this guy goes on ah oh, yeah 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 let's say I'm going to wing her this guy this guy goes on and now let's go in with your with your foundation so this guy tells I can have been like a terrible storyteller but it's because I'm not tasking it's not my thing um tells this girl So this girl amenda ameambia Josh sikupendi I mean I don't think we are going anywhere sidhani relationship it will work out because of such and such and such Do you know what Josh did Josh did he he said oh yeah me too totally I I I also think it's okay if this doesn't nini you understand people like those that's absurd that's messed up so when you're passive aggressive it can turn you into that kind of a person and you will appear fake to other people and that kind of thing and nobody wants to appear fake and that kind of thing so the other that, that was one of my toxic traits but that i am niko niko it's done and dusted like it's off these days i can confidently confront someone and be like hey Um, I don't like what you did and, and this and this and this. And by the way kuna watu wana feeling ni kama una complain but you're not complaining. You're actually addressing an issue and you don't feel okay being treated such and such a way, okay? So communicate, communicate your feelings to people. Tell them I'm not okay with you cheating me like this or when you do this I feel like this. Be confrontational about stuff. I know I used to be like what I need keep the peace, but keeping the peace helps you it, it bottles like it allow it, it makes you bottle up. Okay? Bottle up your feelings and one time you just explode and start hitting coco the way I used to. So don't do that. Don't be passive aggressive. You're going to become a very bad person. The other thing is I am a people pleaser. That's a toxic trait because I will do everything to make sure you're comfortable, you're happy and that kind of thing. But I also feel like I keep relapsing on this one. I learn it and then I relapse. I learn it and then I relapse. Unaelewa? <laughs> and that's not a good thing. I learn it and then I relapse. I learn and then I relapse and that's crazy. But why I'm saying this is um people pleasing so i used to be this girl mwenye hey nita go above and beyond for you even when i know i'm getting hurt but these days um um i wrote this because it's something i'm struggling with by the way i don't know if you're a people pleaser what did you do and i kept relapsing but na joto nita get right one of these fine days yeah okay so I I I please people like I I am one person like I can easily I don't know whether it's, it's like a personality thing or say when you're INFJ is a bunny ambier because 
I, I, I am a people pleaser. I can be a people pleaser. That's what I wrote actually. I can be a people pleaser and it's not a good thing because you also need to be authentic. You, you also need to be yourself. You don't have to, to go above and beyond for people who will not do the same for you. You understand so it's the same thing um um i don't know much about people pleasing but i believe i am and i'm struggling with it maybe that's why i don't even have enough points to add enough points to address it but um my prayer is that i become better better person uh i'm not pleased people and actually please them out of my own you know like many while i see stuck in wrong I won't try hurt your feelings. Ah, is that people pleasing? But if you understand what people pleasing is, you get what I mean. I will go above and beyond for you and try and be a nice person even when my feelings are being hurt. And that's not a good thing. You need to address, you need to say, I don't like this and I don't like this. I think more like being confrontational and stuff. And that's one thing that I've learned this year and I'm so proud of because I wasn't confident enough to... Or is it a confidence question or it's uh, I want to maintain the peace? You understand? Oh, look at that. Oh, the camera is making it look so pretty. Although it's well blended at Aqua Mira. So you see, but the other thing, the other hack I learned is that when you use a brush... Okay, this one is broken. It's supposed to have a handle, but hey. When you use a brush, you don't use a lot more foundation like when you like when you use a sponge. These things, what I need to throw them away. These things, they take all your makeup. They absorb all the makeup. So when you're when you're trying to nini, you if you're trying to save up, kama mimi. Usijaribu kutumia sponge. Sponge takunyo yo nini yako yote. All your makeup. Yeah. So. Yeah. And that's the end of the list for me. Woohoo. Okay. I had written a lot of things. But I don't think those are toxic. I don't think. I am not spontaneous. I am. An, that's not toxic. Is that being toxic? I think the toxic thing would be to. To be very. Um, to be very, this is the concealer. So this, uh, there's this one thing I want to show you that when you do your concealer after your foundation, you you arch your eyeshadow and it looks even more professional. Uh, I think the toxic thing would be to to be very to be like a mean person, and I'm not a mean person, so. Instead of being spontaneous, you're like, you just want things to go your way. Is that what people call controlling? Yeah, it's my way or the highway, you know? And I, I think when I wrote that, it was like, but I'm an introvert. I don't even like being nini. Sipendi, spendi nini kuko spontaneous. Mi natika to plan. Dio ni get, ni get the energy and the strength ya ku. I could hang out now where I prepare myself mentally. Like I don't mind making plans because I'm also very I'm such a planner. I am such a planner and it's Sanini. It's one of the traits that I am so happy about myself with. You see what I mean? Your eyeshadow looks bam and pen. Come blue look this side. You see how arched it is. This one didn't come out perfect, but we still get the illusion, you see? Yeah. So, um, I think those are my toxic traits. I don't know what your toxic traits are. I would like to know because I use a brush to blend in Nini, my concealer because Sina Nini, Sina, he like a beauty blender. Kengine kana kwanga kame chongwa kama wedge. So I use this brush to blend out my concealer because it's been angi kaevingi. Like so obvious, you know what I mean? Yeah. So to all my girls who are going for dinner, here is a look for you, a boo look. And then I want to learn how to put lashes. So when I'm learning to put lashes, I'll make sure I film it so we can laugh, make mistakes and become better at it, right? Yeah. 
So what else am I gonna do? I'm going to do an eyeliner. This one. See any product gani? It was my mom's. I stole it from her. Every time I take something from my mom, I I, I always tell myself, Kai, your daughter. Atawa yacha uprospa. Chakwa to na una unapata mi ba vitu zako. You know? Yeah, so I don't know what your toxic traits are as I almost wind up this video and I feel like I've struggled to multitask but thank you for staying through it because you've come this far to see this makeup look. You see what eye pencil does in your eyeliner, my eye pencil, whatever man. You see what it does? Check it over here, my eyes are bold and stuff. So alternatively, you can, if you have this kind of palette, e palette in Dubai, Dubois, Dubois, whatever. So you can add these shimmers. What I do, I do this, and then naongeza. But today I don't feel like putting on top of, of the makeup I have on. I feel like it's chill, it's sour, it's not too much, it's not too little, it's just enough. Yeah, so... Yes, guys. So in the comments, what what are your toxic traits? How what are the things that you're learning? What are the things you're learning? And then we go in with a mascara. in a beauty model eyelash. But then let me give you a hack for Nini for makeup. Number one, your makeup any nenda kwa your face is what you invest in. You understand? But kitu kama kama up around the eyes. It doesn't break out. I'll put acne around the eyes. You understand? So there, you can use maybe a cheap product that is not going to react. Because we have products in are very cheap, and they can even spoil your eyes whatsoever. But apakwa eyeshadow, you can get a fake one. It doesn't matter. Besides, no one knows. Kama sa image paka. Would you think this is a fake eyeshadow? Well, it's not even fake because whoever made it, this is their brand. Maybe I would say cheap. Okay, cheap is the word, not fake. Because any brand, yeah, oh, nah, our jay make it fake. It's not like a knockoff of Maybelline or Joanna Kinovia's makeup or anything. It's their makeup. So all I'm saying is, for eyeshadow, you can use a cheap, a cheap eyeshadow. That's a hack, by the way. Na nani ni na Maybelline by the way, their foundation is below two k. Na your foundation it will last that for six months. Imagine two k six months. That's the whole investment. So. Just Nini, just use like cheap makeup for eyeshadow, mascara is of it too. Sometimes lip balm, but lip balm, eh? lip balm for those with lips like mine, lips zango zina konga dry. So if I use a stupid, a cheap Nini, a cheap lipstick or lip balm, my lips will become twice dry. So I don't advise you go for a cheap lip gloss or or nini or lipstick yeah that's what i'm saying but makeup mingi is a voice zina kwanga poa ni venye tu zina kwanga cheap as kwangi knockoffs because wase wengi ufikiria ati ni knockoff unless wame 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 imitate mebeline wame sema you see mebeline sasa wana ita mebeline with a y or whatever yeah so hiyo ni hake nye nimekua niki survive on this kanairo Surely if you're a business owner like me, you don't always have money. There are days your foundation has run out. Now, so you have to survive on whatever you at the moment. And that particular day, you survive on whatever is left or whatever is available. Yeah? Oh no. This is the other thing, baby. Ukipaka Kipaka mascara ukwe ready kunini ku mess up your makeup. Guys, look at this girl. Look at this beautiful girl. Oh the other thing is you lay your edges before you start your makeup. But when I learned it, it's life changing. Look at this girl. My makeup is dope, like sis. And then to blend in your like this. Eh, 
yeah, but these are products ni poor. I bought nothing new. Makeup in my absorb bigger kwa face yangu. It may absorb big hair. It's been hair. It's been absorbed really well. And I love it. It even matches my neck, bro. I'm not looking like a clown. Or I'm trying too hard. Bro. Sis. Your makeup is looking bad. No, just a connection. Man, I need to find you. But man, this makeup is makeup in. This makeup is makeup in. So there's another hack I saw by Joy Candy, by the way. How to contour with pressed powder. Alichukua like a darker shade. So maybe kama, this is 340. So maybe color 360 apple and then you apply your kukwa edge. So you know how you contour ni minini. I think we'll try use that hack. But in the meantime, no contouring is going to happen on this beautiful face of mine. It's very nice, but it's also very sticky, and I don't like that. So on a normal day, it's not a, a good idea to use it. But when you're trying to, maybe when you're lining your lips, let me show you what I mean. Oh, I didn't mean any highlighter before that. This highlighter, it's it's a bronzer actually. I'm trying to find a bronzer after powder. That I'm not sure. Yeah, so you you go in with the powder first, and then the bronzer so that it can shine. It's in my like pack. I I can't see it, but let's watch. Yeah, so this was like a get ready with me while we try to check on ourselves and how we are doing in this society, whether we're becoming good people or bad people. And I'm so glad you stuck through it. So leave me a comment on your toxic traits and the likes. And then by the powder, you always get a lighter shade in the 340 and I'm in a 350. This is cappuccino. Yes, it's cappuccino. Yeah, so you see, gives you a very polished and your face is not shiny, it's mattified. Go Maybelline, Nunua Maybelline makeup. Maybelline should do something. <laughs> That's why you need to like my videos, you need to share, you need to leave me a million of comments so that I can get these gigs, guys, okay? So that I have something to show for myself, okay? Yeah, and then now you go in with your bronzer. Bronze, bronzer, whatever you call it. This helps, by the way, for all you to open your contour, this is a lifesaver. You see how shiny it's, it's starting to get? Yeah, that's why you need to contour when you need to bronze after me pack a powder so that it can show other stuff absorbed to skin. Yeah. So guys, if you're going for the YP dinner or anywhere else on a Sunday, going for a date, this is the makeup that you apply, okay? It's called a cupid bow, a money bow, whatever, man. Yeah, and then now I had already applied lip balm, and then now we can line our lips with this eye pencil. And now we go in with this Zaron Sheer Lip Gloss. It's very nice, baby. It's very, very nice. I love it. So, someone is calling me. Sorry, I use my phone to film. So, sometimes I'm getting a disruption. But I had to cut my mind off so that I'm able to, To continue with this video you see like it's it gives a very beautiful whatever like nude let me finish and then you see what i mean you see what i mean like it's so cute it looks like lipstick but it's not lipstick 
that's what i like about it but for normal normal day-to-day -day gloss no you to me a vaseline i had a cocoa butter vaseline somebody took it but i'm gonna buy another one yeah so that's what i mean you see what it gives your shia look they're calling it shia Voila, then you have a beautiful face. Damn, girl. So imagine you go nai. How many did you pack your makeup for dinner? Because I'm looking bang. Hmm. Guys, and that's the makeup. Thank you so much for sticking through this video. I joined you seven year a million and one times. But really, I am so grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Now I need to rush because that guy is almost in Tao. Uzuri up detail is not a long time. I love you so much, guys. Thank you so much. Please make sure you like, share, subscribe, comment, leave me some hearts over there. Share some love, share some love. Nipende, 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 nipende. Because me nakupenda already. <laughs> okay, guys. I have to love you and leave you. And thank you so much. Nakama unenda dinner. Make sure you tell me. Apochini. Oh, it's... I, I go to church at Sitam. But I also go to City Lighters. But mostly I go to Sitam. And Sitam is holding a YP dinner, okay? A young professional's dinner. And this video was dedicated to everybody who is going to a YP dinner. So make sure. Make sure that you like, share, subscribe. And use this nini this makeup jibambe so yeah it's a video that is gonna you know what i mean <laughs>